part owner Bill Fordry says the cleaner's been given a clean bill of health with no signs of a virus or issues with his joints. I know he's well and healthy, contrary to what a lot of people think. Our vet uh, yesterday told me that he's in remarkable condition. But it's not all good news. The decision to sack trainer Mick Burles has been met with strong criticism. We've got a popular horse with Australia's most popular trainer, <laughs> the battler, the little Aussie battler, and that makes it... Everyone loves the battler and, and don't like us. That's life. We can live it with big boys. Fordry says keeping the gelding in his best condition is the reason behind the move to Victoria with better facilities than at Longford. While Mornington was originally considered due to its proximity to the beach, the owner's going a different direction. It's more likely to be at Maui. And the people there, they've got a, uh, they've got a swimming hole that they swim him in if, uh, every day if they want to. And while a trainer is not officially locked in, Fordry believes they are close to closing a deal. I know he's under the same pressure that we are to be sending them to him and uh, they'll, they'll make a statement when, uh, when it's all signed, sealed and delivered. While the cleaner's owners have confirmed he will no longer race in Tasmania, they still plan to retire him here to Armadale Stud in Carrick, not far from the Longford Lions' original home. We don't want more of the same. We want to try something different, see if uh, he might just pick up a little bit more or at least stay where he is. The Tasmanian champion could be leaving on the spirit as soon as tomorrow night. Holly Monnery, Southern Cross News.